We're not even at the hard part yet. No. Appreciate you tuning in to my stream. Safe, out of trouble, and most importantly, stay creamy, buddy. Right, I'll see you uh, tomorrow, maybe tonight, maybe, I don't know. All right, buddy. Later, dude.
What's up, Morphine? What's up, man? How you doing? Been a while since I saw you. I'm affiliate now. If you were to sub to me, I could sub back. For free. Yay! Come a long way. I knew I'd make it. Oh no, the church. Oh no, the hardest part of the game.
Huh. I can't see to find my reading sheet. I'll make a new one. Well, that was that. It was Velvet Assassin. This is a really good game, and it's time for the ratings. For glitches and bugs, it is an old game. It's from 2009. I had to optimize it in a way that it would run on 8 cores because it would really only run on four cores two to four so glitches and bugs other than that I, I'd give that a seven out of ten because it was expected playability much playable than I thought it would be I'd give that an eight out of ten mechanics I'd have to go with mechanics with the 7. It could have been better mechanics, but it was still good mechanics. Great mechanics for his time. Price? Even today, at $9.99. Almost a decade strong. This game title is worth it. And it's well worth what I paid for it, which was more. Because I got it back like 2013. Performance. This game performs better than you would you think it would from a year that that age. Yeah, there's a couple of hiccups here and there, but I discussed that. They talked about that. Um, other than you know the few stutters and tears and a little bit of lag spikes, that this depends on the level. It's a great game, and I go ahead and give performance. I give performance an eight out of ten. Fun factor. This game can be downright amazingly a 10, or it can be a fucking I hate this thing negative 1 million. Which leads into the difficulty factor. This game can be as difficult as you want to make it. There are only two levels to start out with, and that's novice or rookie and normal I would be normal and you guys saw from the stream how angry I got at this so, I mean it, it it's it's there voice acting there wasn't really a lot of what I thought there would be but the voice acting there was I would go at a four there could have been better. Music. Eh, I'd give the music a four. Setting. Where the game is set. I give the game. A ten on where it's set. I love the setting. Everything. It's constantly changing, becoming more beautiful than it was before. And the overall play style of the game. If you like stealthy games and you like killing, like shooting people, this is the game for you. Especially if you like World War II. Because you're behind enemy lines the whole game. In this game, I get the play style. 
I give the play style a 9 out of 10. And for my overall opinion of this game, I slap it with a 7.5 out of 10. Does that mean you should pick it up? No, it means you should pick it up. It's a game worth playing. I hope you guys all enjoyed this ride, and I'll see you next time. Well, guys, that's going to do it for this episode of Cream Tea. If you liked it, go ahead and leave a like, comment, follow, and subscribe. Also, go ahead and turn on your notifications so you don't miss a single thing. Ding, ding, ding. Like and engage on my social media, so up top in the overlay, also in the description below. Also, like and engage on my Twitch and YouTube, also in the overlay in the description below. I do different content on both platforms. Also, I also do different giveaways on both platforms from time to time. Also, if you happen to be a Twitch or a YouTuber yourself and you're familiar with an auto host, that's for Twitch. If you'd add me to that and I started streaming and you weren't streaming, your channel will broadcast my channel. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, both good exposure. Depending on the amount of hosts you have and the order that they're in. And for YouTube, there's an auto feature channel. I'll use myself as an example. Say I made you an auto feature channel. You will show up on my main YouTube page underneath a banner on the right side in the little box that says Cream Legionaries with your channel name and avatar. Anyone comes to click on it, including yourself, it goes straight to your YouTube page. Pretty cool, right? Yeah! The name and location of that box all depends on your personal YouTube layout. And if you happen to do it with Twitch and YouTube and you want to do both those three, oh my god, I'm gonna make so much! I have no problem doing it back. Just ask. And as always, if you wish to make a donation to Cream TV, it's so easy to do. You can go to my Twitch page up top in the overlay. Full links in the description below. And if for some reason Twitch is dead or the page is in response for the pill button, it's just not working correctly. You can use the alternate, most preferred method of donating to don my users at streamlabs.com. Also, link in the description below. And the cool thing about streamlabs, you can go there and interact with the stream with music, polls for votes, games, mini games, all sorts of cool stuff. And I've also started up a Patreon account, which is also linked in the description below. And that is for the funding and upkeep of www.streamer-squad.com's website. My website, my community. Website has launched. We're in alpha access. Not everything's complete. Some is. We're working on getting to beta. All funds accumulated are greatly appreciated, and all proceeds will go to better hardware, software, gaming, internet, and most importantly, a better viewing experience for you, the people of Twitch, YouTube, whoever else uploaded these videos, whoever else these videos found their place, and of course, the lovely creepers and legionaries of the Cream Baya and Streamers Squad. As always, pardon the interruptions. Stay happy, healthy, safe, out of trouble, and most importantly, stay creamy and tune in for the next awesome godlike creamy goodness. Thank you. Bye, 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 bye.